fourth grade, we are going to use this week and next week as a review week. Some of you may have already guessed what you're going to be reviewing, but before we go too far, you are going to need your STEM journal and you're going to need a sketch, your sketchbook or your paper for drawing on whichever one you use. You will also need pencil and eraser and something to color with. Your learning targets for this week, I can review simple tools or simple machines, whichever one you want to call them. And I can look for easy shapes to begin to draw my artwork. So a recap, our simple machines or simple tools are six items that are really the most basic of machines or tools that you can come up with or use. We have the inclined plane, the wedge, the lever, the wheel and axle, the screw, and the pulley. This week we're going to be practicing three of them and next week we're going to do the next three. So, in your STEM journal, you're going to need to find a blank page. At the top, we're going, you're going to write art, simple machine sketches. Then we are going to do three small sketches of different machines. This week we do the wedge, the ramp, or the inclined plane and the wheel and axle. In your sketchbook, you're going to pick one of those simple machines that we just did and then do a large drawing of it that takes up the page and you get to add your own personal details to the picture. These are some of the examples of what we could be working or what you might do as your own personal ones. Plus, I will show you some when we are working with the document camera. All right, so the first thing we're going to work in is your STEM journal. Open it up and find a blank page that you can work on. I don't mind if you want to start right here, because remember, you're going to be doing all six. If you want to keep space and do one on this side, uh, do three on this side and three on that side, that works for me. In fact, I think that's what I might do here. So I'm going to start by writing at the top. If you recall, we're going to be writing art, simple machine or tools. And then I'm just gonna keep going over here. Sketches, because I knew that I was gonna take up two places. Now, we're going to try and fit three on each page, which means, for once, I actually want you to draw small. I want you to be able to fit these into your page. So I know that I'm going to do the wedge is one. Then I'm going to come down and I'll see I'll write ramp. And then our last one is going to be wheel and axle. So we're going to write and we're going to make small versions of this artwork and then I will show you the bigger versions again. So for Wedge, I'm going to have you start by drawing a large letter D inside of a triangle. So first, let's start with our triangle. Then we do the large letter D. Outside of our triangle, we're going to draw something, make it look like it was another letter V. And down here, just some kind of shape. Looks like it's cutting into it. And then next to it, we write W, E. And on the other side, we write G, E. Wedge. A wedge going down into something. Pretty easy. Now I know inclined right, inclined plane is the proper one, but for this next one it might be kind of hard for you to fit the entire word inclined plane in there. So that's why I stick with ramp. 
So for ramp, first I'm actually going to draw a rectangle. Then next to it, I'm going to draw the inclined ramp or inclined plane, excuse me. I want you to watch. I'm going to make my letters start by going one top to the next. So from the top of the triangle down to the bottom. I'm going to keep going. So there's an R, then A. Trying to make sure the top always touches the top of the. Ta da! Now we've got a ramp going up. And wheel and axle, this one, we could do something a little bit more complicated, but we're going to stick with something a little bit easier. First, start with what? Easy enough with a circle. Then we're going to draw. small rectangle out there, much taller rectangle, and you can even do the like the handlebars that they're going to touch. And then this is where I draw a box. And that's where you can write wheel and axle. So those are our quick sketches. Those are not, I mean, really, it's not very hard. We've only been looking at this just very quick. What I want you to do for your big pictures is in your sketchbook, you've got more space. Pick one of these that you want to do on your own. So if you're interested in doing the big version, I'm going to show you quickly how I do this. And then you can customize it. You can have it doing something else. Like I made this one once where it was a wedge. Someone was hitting it and it's going into a piece of candy and splitting it in half. You can make your wedge going into something, whatever you think would be you would like for yours. Next is the ramp. So remember Now, I'm going to add a personal touch to it, just something that, you know, makes you know that I'm the one that drew it. So now I've drawn a picture of a hand pulling something up a ramp, and then for this case, I try to draw one of my dogs. Another example that I did last year was that I drew a, uh, you know, pulling a barrel of uh, apples up the ramp. And then our wheel and axle. Remember, And one of the things that I had done last week or last year when I was showing this example was I drew things in the boxes that I would like that, you know, maybe I would like or I wanted to be shipping like Nintendo Switch. So that's what I mean by drawing them big and personalizing them. Come up with a way to do one of those simple machines in a large picture that takes up most of your sketchbook page and still shows the simple machine and is labeled. So that's your uh, assignment for today. First you do the stem, the small sketches, and the stem journal. Then you take one of those and you make it into a big picture and color that and post that on your Google Classroom. All right guys, thanks.